Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. The last time you'll recall, we started searching for a missing child kidnapped by a hag. The good news is we're hot on their trail. The bad news is it turns out the hag in question is our old enemy, Auntie Ethel, somehow having survived our previous attempt to kill her. And we've just had a bunch of red caps disguised as pirates sicked upon us. Luckily, this is nothing we can't handle at this point. bad news is there are enough passed out drunks here that we can't use any of our major AoE abilities. What's this? So we're going to have to get up close and personal on this. Thankfully that suits Karlik just fine. took all my actions, but I think I have safely gotten the attention of most of these guys. A tale for the ages. And I'm going to very quickly Step have Gale restore one of his more powerful spells. And let's see, what have I got for scrolls that might work here? Scorching Ray, I'm going to save that for a bit for reasons that will become obvious, but...
I got a scroll disintegrate. That's a bit of overkill for these guys, though. Chain lightning, potentially too dangerous. Ice, also not great. Unfortunately, no way to aim this without hitting Karlik or anybody else. Ooh, scroll magic missile. Almost got that one. Chances. Yeah, what the heck. Let's do another magic missile scroll. I just smite the ground next to it. I did. Oh, so much for peace.
soldier. <laughs> Ethel again. I was hoping she'd found some remote oh, bomb to rot in. Still in the <clears throat> So that's progress. I'm fine, Dad. What about... What were those monsters? If there is so much as a scratch on you, I'm going to ruin Grizzly. Dad, breathe. I'm all right. And you, thank you for stopping those, whatever they were. What were... Dad. Okay, same. Need to find a way forward. And those two drunks are still passed out. And it appears these red caps are wearing masks. Heartfelt confession. what I just grab. Let's see, dearest Shimer, I have been sewing up and down the Sword Coast for nine and forty years. I ain't never seen a beauty that cut my heart like you did. Now I'm asking for an evening with a gent such as yourself. You've got suitors knocking on your door night and day, and I've got no doubt full career and sure final so could give you the life you deserve. Instead I'm wishing, hoping, praying you could give me a favor, lock of your hair. So I might wear it close to my heart. Ask us knowing I have a better chance of umberly kicking down the door and dragging me to my bed than I do of getting an answer. But should you do this for me, you make an old sailor's heart sing. There's some loose gold on the floor I can pick up no problem. Are you right? I'm fine, Dad. What about you? And more of these shrapnel bombs. Where in the hell is Grizzly? Uh, I uh, drink. That was some ruckus. I catch you fighting any more drunks, I'll toss you all outside. Even if they did deserve a clatter. I didn't fight drunks, I fought red caps. Uh red cap? One of them pointy looking fuckers. Yes. You know, I thought I saw it. Ah Magic tickles your senses. The same you felt around the flaming fist in Vessel's Gate. Someone, or something, has tampered with his memory. Sorry, mate. Only red near is my patrons' faces when they've had a few too many. Take it easy, yeah? I'll give you three guesses who's responsible and the first two don't count. Gods above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? Didn't think a tough guy like you'd be scared of a little knife. I've killed people with a splinter, mate. Of course I'm wary of a blade. 
Lara Laura was her name. Started tearing the place apart, screaming about some kid. Whew, bloody disturbing it was. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end, threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. Hmm. You won't mind if I go into the back room, will you? Yeah, I didn't think so. And this door over here leads to Captain Grizzly's chambers. Yeah, looks like could be something there. Nothing we can get to, though. What's that? Huh. Illusionary wall. That chest was some and never said double doors. No doubt about it. This is where the hag must be. Okay, we're auto saving. Even though we did get an auto save, still gonna go. Cause yeah, more whispering masks. Watch how you go. There's a trap. The baby must be getting so big. I can't wait to see. Or those poison gas vents. Successful. Saves. Well, well, well. And bingo! Secret passageway out.
Yep, do the heroic thing. <sighs> Luckily, we can indeed do the heroic thing here. Unfortunately, got it. <laughs> if I wanted my growth thing to peck, well, it wouldn't be you I'd call. Moving. Hags Bane. I hope this works. What did you? Stay down, Sandra. No. That's it. Cough her up, Hag. disintegrate not quite close enough to pull it off though you gonna try and do
still just shy. Well, wait. I do have one fire arrow left. Still not quite enough range for it. But maybe... And low quality finish, but no, not my mushrooms. <laughs> You're vine, right? Your mom sent me. Child Protection Agent, Shadow Heart is Inspired. Time to take a load off, isn't it? And we just got the Ring of Feywall Spurts. While your Sorcerer's Ties of Chaos feature is active, you will always trigger wild magic surges when casting spells. Pig's head cleaver, chopped up pig, a gilded chest. Some arrows of arcane interference, a topaz, some gold. Breathe deep and move. Cleaver, rib cage. But more importantly, I bet we just freed the people out here. Hey, there's the real Captain Grizzly. Of raided warships. For every beastie the sea can throw at you. And I've never flinched. Not once. But Ethel? Umberly's tits. She snapped her fingers and had me. I would have died for her. Wanted to. Then you showed up. Armed to the teeth. You could have killed me, been right to, but you didn't. You have an old captain's thanks. I've dealt with her before, I knew what to do. Knowing and doing are two different beasts, and one is a hell of a lot harder than the other. 
You're welcome in the maid. Any time. The old girl is as much your home as she is mine. And I'll gut anyone who says otherwise. Hey, all right. Free room and board at another inn. <clears throat> Auntie! Where is Auntie? Auntie, has my baby? Where is he? Where is my baby? Actually, I'm wondering at this point... Okay, it won't let me pickpocket the masks off these people, but uh, they are alive for what little that is worth at the moment. So we will go ahead and stop here. Thanks for enduring the slightly longer than usual chapter, but hey, we have finished the quag the hag quest, I think. Yeah, we've been anti We've got to give our victims good news. This time, fear and doubt is at an end. Or is it? No, no, it is. But we will go and check in on the survivors and find Varna's mother and see what good deeds we have done. But thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined. And we'll continue the adventure from here next time. Take care until then.